In this tutorial, I'll show you two different methods for visualizing Rhino data in Microsoft Power BI. The first method uses the Semantic for Rhino visualization tool, which requires us to get a list of object IDs out of Rhino and then to upload the model data through the semantic visual for Microsoft Power BI. The first thing that we need to do is create a report. We've created one called Panel Properties. This includes the panel number and other information about the panels. And it's important when you're creating these reports to select to output individual Rhino objects. I'll show you what that means. This creates a list of all of the object GUIDs that are available in this Rhino file. We can export, in this case, I'll use an Excel table to get these object IDs in a list that we can then use in Power BI. We'll hit export, select a name for this list to export to, and we'll wait for that to process. In Power BI, we can select the Excel workbook in the data tab in the top ribbon menu and navigate to the location where we've exported these panel properties and select that file to open in Power BI. This sheet is that first sheet of the Excel document and we can select transform data to make sure that the data is in the correct format for us to import. We'll want to check that the headers have been promoted so that each of these column headers is not in the data list, but it is the label for each of the fields that we'll be using down the line. We'll hit close and apply. And now in the fields panel, we can see that each column of data is a new field. We'll select our visual. And there are instructions here on the visual. It might be a little small to see on YouTube, but they're legible in Power BI. So these instructions say to first add the object IDs to the Rhino GUID input. We have the list of object IDs here, and here is the input field for Rhino GUID. And then the second step is to upload the Rhino model by changing one of the settings in the format visual panel. Zoom back out. If we go to Format Visual, we can toggle on underneath Input to show the Upload button. This will cause an Upload button to appear in the visual itself. We can select that and then select the appropriate Rhino file. This will load in the data from the Rhino model using its object ID as a reference. So now you can see our Rhino data is appearing in Power BI. We can change the visual settings and get this to appear in color if we like. By changing this to from source model, it will match what we're showing in the Rhino model. The second method for getting our Rhino data to appear in Power BI is to export using the semantic exporter instead of this upload process. To export a database from Rhino, you will select the objects that you wish to export and within the semantic UI, at the bottom of the panel, you should see a button to export selected objects. When you click export selected objects, it will prompt you to save the model. If you hit yes, it will save the model for you as part of the export process. We can see that the file has been saved and it is now prompting us to create a name for the SQLite database that we are exporting. So we can call this example panels. To show this method quickly, I'll use one of our Power BI templates. You can download these from our website by going to Documentation and selecting Semantic from the drop-down panel, and then selecting Power BI templates from the left-hand menu, and following this download the Semantic version 3 Power BI templates link. When you open a template, it will ask you to paste in the file path for the database that you've just created. We'll need to get that link. So here it is, Example Panels Database. We'll right click, copy as path, and then paste into this field. Then we can select Load. You'll be prompted to authenticate the load. You can select Default or Custom. 
ignore the credential connection string properties field, which is optional, and hit connect. And you can see that once the visual uploads and by using this template, the model appears as well as its accompanying data. So it is important for us to note that this visual is actually the Tracer 3D visual and not the semantic for Rhino visual that we previously showed. This Tracer 3D visual will be included in the semantic version 3 download and it's different from the semantic for Rhino visual in that the Tracer 3D visual is reading the mesh data that's been exported as a part of the SQLite database creation process and regenerating the visual based on the actual lines of mesh data that are part of that database. One more thing to know, it's not required to use our template in order to get the Tracer 3D visual to work for your semantic exported databases. There will be a follow-up video where we'll show you how to manually bring in the data to Power BI using the ODBC import process.